Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Darren Briscadall. I am the Precision Equipment Specialist uh, for the southeastern part of the state of Wisconsin for Insight FS. Uh, I work with, with farmers around the state uh, with different equipment for their current planters, um, as well as some other equipment that we work with. Uh, here today, we're, we're looking at a planter that we've built uh, from the ground up. But a lot of what we do is retrofitting planters that guys currently own um, and, and making small adjustments to make them perform better. Uh, I work with farmers to identify what the weaknesses are with their planters and then look at the equipment that we can put on to help solve some of their, some of their challenges and make their life easier and, and increase their bottom line. What I'd like to do here today is, is give you a little bit of a tour of, of this planter that, that we built from the ground up. Uh, it's a Harvest International planter. Uh, Harvest International is a company out of Northwest Iowa that custom builds pool bars and, and row units and then we can bring it in into our shop and work with them to uh, completely customize it to, to a grower's needs. So this one behind me is a 16 row Harvest International planter uh, with a center fill seed system as well as a, uh, a liquid uh, in furrow starter uh, system on it. Uh, this planter here is, is set up with the precision planting V-Set, V-Drive, and Delta Force, as well as, uh, as well as Clean Sweep, which you'll see down here. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour of this planter. Uh, first of all, starting off with, with the planter frame. Uh, this is a, a very heavily built planter frame that is designed for high-speed operations. Uh, so it is, it is designed to uh, withstand some of the, the conditions that we can put through it. You'll also see here that all of the hydraulic lines are ran in these steel uh, these steel hoses, uh, which really makes it nice if we were to blow a hydraulic line. It's, it's a very short hose, and we can keep those condensed down to where we just have one or two different hoses for the entire planter. So if you blow a hose, you can have one on stock and, uh, and put that on for a quick, easy change while you're, while you're planting. Uh, moving through the planter here, uh, you'll see this is a, a double frame uh, planter, which is designed for the high-speed operations. Uh, we've got a 7x7 seven seven bar down here as well as a five by uh, nine bar up here on the top. Uh, the, double, the double bar is really nice for, for giving us the rigidity that we need for these high speed applications. Uh, you'll also see that all of the vacuum system is ran inside the secondary uh, toolbar, which keeps the, the bar looking very nice and we just tie into it with our vacuum hose coming down to the row. Coming down the row unit here, we have Precision Planning's Delta Force system. This is a hydraulic downforce that senses the amount of downforce um, on the planter in the ground and will automatically adjust on the fly force that we end up with the perfect downforce and, and very consistent seed depth for even emergence uh, when we get, when, when it comes time to perform come on the ground. Coming down a little bit here, these are the precision, for the, uh, sorry, the Harvest International Laser Pro row units uh, with the, the, the very solid parallel arms. Um, in here we have a tapered poly bushing that is a very long life bushing. Uh, they can also be tightened down as it wears in order to maintain a very, very solid um, and tight row unit, which helps us to get, get uh, uh, uniform emergence and consistent depth. Uh, very solid row unit. You'll see how well, she, how well it's built in here um, <clears throat> and, and designed again for, for high speed and, and uh, rocky conditions. It's built to withstand that. This row unit is made with a laser cut high tensile steel. Uh, what this means is when we look at, at a high tensile steel, it's going to flex a little bit without cracking or bending. Uh, where it's a cast row unit, like a typical John Deere row unit would be cast. Uh, if you hit something hard and going too fast, it's more likely to crack. Uh, in a case like this, it's going to flex a little bit for us and come right back into where it belongs. Uh, the laser cut steel makes it very rigid um, and, and again is designed for that high speed application. Uh, coming back, you'll see the a lot of the wear parts here are the same as what you'd have on a, on, a, on a Kinsey or a John Deere planter as far as your gauge wheels and your, and your opening discs go. Um, we do have greasable uh, closing wheel arms, uh, which help with, with maintaining the, the lifespan of those. Coming back up a little bit in here, we have the, the Precision Planning V-Set meters. I'll pull one off here to show you. Uh, the V-Set meter is very cold today. Down here, this is the this is the metering system in the V set, as well as the the entire drive system is right here in this this V drive electric motor. You'll notice there's no chains or hex shafts or anything like that on this planter. That's because this unit here 
does all of our driving for us as well as our clutching and population control. And it's a direct drive to the meter. Again, things are very cold and not wanting to cooperate. In here you'll see we've got our seed disc, which is directly driven by the, the gear of the motor. Spins this around, as it comes around the seed goes through the singulator and helps us to get the perfect, uh, perfect number of seeds uh, every time around. We have one seed on every hole, so we don't have any skips or, or doubles. Uh, this is a very simple meter that can be, uh, can be used for a variety of seed sizes and shapes and perform very well at different sizes and shapes as well as different speeds, uh, all the way up to, to 12 or 13 miles an hour if, if we desire. Uh, this can also be changed very easily from one crop to another. Uh, you know, corn, soybeans, uh, we've got customers that are planting wheat, uh, cucumbers, sweet corn, edible beans, uh, even some cover crops on some narrower row planters with, with these meters. Uh, they're very diverse and very, uh, very adaptable to different crops. Uh, and very easy to change. You can change these meters um, from one crop to another very quickly without, without needing any tools. Um, and it becomes a very quick, easy process. If we look here in the roll, I'll move this out of the way real quick. If we look here in the roll, what we have, this is, this is called a flow sense. This is a flow meter that reads the amount of liquid flow on each row um, as it's going out onto the row, onto the planter or into the ground. So what the system is, is basically we have, we've got two 250 gallon tanks on this planter, which again can be customized depending on what the grower's needs are and, uh, and how much product he wants to put down. This one's got two 250 gallon tanks with an electric pump and, uh, and three section control of the liquid. So there's a module up here on the row, or on the, on the toolbar, that is monitoring and controlling our liquid flow going out to, to the rows uh, on the three section basis. So those will shut off uh, to prevent overlap in the field. And then they will also tell the monitor and tell the operator uh, how much flow is going out on each row. So if something were to plug up or, or have some problems, we would know that right away and it would alert us of that so we can, uh, we can prevent any issues that we may have out in the field. Uh, coming down the row a little bit further here, we have the Wave Vision seed tubes, which are precision planting seed tubes that are designed to uh, sense the difference in, uh, in dust and seed sizes so that we can have a very accurate reading of what our, uh, what our rate is going on in the field. So this, this grower chose to go with the Wave Vision seed tubes rather than the high speed speed tubes for now. But what we did is, is he thought he may make that change in the future. So we set this planter up uh, to be very easy to, to adapt to the speed tubes in the future, which is one of the things we like to do when we're meeting with the grower is we'll talk through kind of what his long-term goals are and where he wants to end up. So that way we can, we can set his planter up now so that he's not spending money on it now that's going to be taken off and, and wasted later when he does make another upgrade. If we know what that long-term plan is, we'll set it up as we go uh, to make that, make that work better for him. So this one's just got the Wave Vision seed tubes. In the future, it'll probably end up with the, with the high-speed speed tubes. And uh, at, this, at this point, that's just a simple plug and play uh, to make that, make that change. Uh, you'll also see here we've got a, uh, a uh, PTO pump from Command Hydraulics. Uh, so this, this planter um, is going to require enough hydraulics uh, that the grower wasn't confident in, in his tractor to have the ability to put that out. So take a little pressure off the tractor. We installed a, a PTO pump here. Um, so we've got a, basically a standalone hydraulic system for this planter uh, right, here, right here in this unit. Uh, if we work our way back here a little bit, uh, you'll see we've got uh, we've got some closing wheels on this planter. These right now have the Martin spike on one side, and we will have a, a rubber a standard OEM rubber wheel on the other side. Um, this is something the grower just decided to go this route. He's used this this uh, pair for a long time. It's worked well for him on his other planters, so that's the way we went back on this on this one. Um, we've we've come to like that setup in in for a variety of of tillage and soil types. Uh, it's kind of a a uh, just a setup that works well for, for a variety and it's, and it's pretty cost effective and long lasting. These, these Martin spikes last a long time. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got the, the 200, or, sorry, two 250 gallon tanks for a total of 500 gallons in this planter. Uh, we do have the ability to also put a single 500 gallon tank on here, or we can eliminate the central fill system and have a thousand gallons of liquid here on the, on the planter. Uh, 
we also have the opportunity to put uh, tanks out on the wings, in which this planter does not have. Uh, you'll also notice this planter doesn't have any, any row markers. Uh, this grower decided not to put row markers on, and as we custom build, that's something that we can do. Is, is if we don't want markers, we just we just don't buy them. Uh, this has uh, has the central seed system. Uh, two uh, two tanks. You can put a total of about three totes of seed in these two tanks. Um, uh, we got the platform here on the back for making it easy to walk up on top of it, and then we installed the, the fill system for the liquid tank right there. This planter is a narrow transport planter, uh, so it's four rows wide across the back. Um, we've got different options for different folding configurations on these as well, so we can uh, use different things to meet different growers' needs. Uh, we can do narrow transport, we can do a rigid planter, uh, stack fold or vertical fold. Um, some options even have to put the, the transport tires up in front of the row units, so that way you don't have any, any tires between your row units to make it easy to get in and work on them. Um, so there's there's lots of different options that way. So, uh, so that's a little bit about this planter here today. Um, this one we we just built this one as well as a few others uh, for this spring. Uh, total now we've we've done six of these Harvest International planters. Uh, a variety with the liquid systems. We have one that is set up for a dry fertilizer application as well. So instead of the center fill seed and the, and the fertil liquid fertilizer, it has a capacity of six tons of dry fertilizer on a planter. Um, that's set up with an airflow system that blows the fertilizer out to the row and puts it in the ground through a, a row unit mounting coulter. Um, that's, uh, that's an opportunity that we've got to increase a customer's, uh, a, a customer's output by being able to carry more fertilizer. It's roughly twice as much fertilizer as he was able to carry before. Uh, so he's gonna see a, a significant increase in his output in a day just because he doesn't have to stop and fill the fertilizer. Uh, so as we custom build these, we talk through this with growers and see what their overall plans are, and and we can we can really do this kind of a la carte and do one piece at a time, um, in order to make it really what the customer wants and to fit all of his needs, both short term and long term. Um, it's a lot of fun being able to put these together. Uh, the challenge of of doing something that's different, that maybe has never been done, because that's what this grower needs. We know that every farm is different, and if, and every planter maybe. So a lot of what we do is, is both in these new planters, as well as if you look here behind me, is the grower's, uh, one of his other planters uh, that we've, we've retrofitted with precision planting equipment in the past. So not only do we work on these new planters, but this planter you see behind me uh, also has the same V-set and V-drive meters, as well as the Delta Force system uh, for the hydraulic downforce. Uh, you'll also see we've got the, the same closing wheels in this planter that we had on the, on the harvester. So a lot of what we do is retrofitting planters that guys currently own, but when it comes time for that new bar, we've got a we've got an opportunity that we can work with um, to, to fit a grower's needs. So um, that's that's really all I have here for the tour today. Uh, but I will uh, I think at this point we're going to go ahead and go to a question and answer, um, and we can I'll be here. We can take some take some questions. I'd be glad to answer anything for you guys.